Yeah, Libs, that uh, exhibition will be all about, you know, a night of conversation, music and art on the opening night of Uza Nimvula, the art of Zeig Simda solo exhibition at Keys Art Mile in Rosebank on the 30th of August. Also on the lineup is one of uh, the country's most revered uh, singer-songwriters, Vusi Masasela. To tell us more, we're joined by organizer and Nish Lux pop-up galleries, Anisha Manyapelo. Anisha, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Morning, Welcome. morning, morning. Good to see you. Good yeah. to have you on the show this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Me. First of all, just take us through uh, the synopsis of what Uza Nemvula, the Art of Zeig Simda solo exhi exhibition is all about and what really inspired the organizers to go this route. Um, everybody knows uh, Professor Zeig Simda as a writer, as yes. a prolific writer, award-winning writer, but he's a painter and he's always been painting for a very, very long time. Mm. And um, I got the, the incredible opportunity to be able to showcase his work and yeah. to be his art agent, which I'm so proud of. Okay. And um, this is an extension of his exhibition in New York last year. Um, so he's bringing his talent to his people um, in, in South Africa. So we can't wait to showcase the works that he's been painting because he lives in Ohio as a professor of English. Mm -hmm. um, but he's here in the country and we are here to celebrate his work and to showcase it. And I quite like, uh, you know, the significance of the title, given that uh, his name is Zanem Vula. Yeah. So what, was that intentional? That was my genius. Uh, <laughs> no, with a lot of help from, from a few people that I consulted. But, you know, my whole thing is that um, he's bringing the rain, he's bringing the prosperity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he is a son of the soil that we celebrate, that we love, that, we, that, that has taken our stories to international shows. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's incredible that we have the opportunity to then honor him and celebrate him in, in our land, you know, which is his home. Right. And, uh, you know, whenever you mention the name Zeik Da, one thing that comes in mind, you are blown away by yeah. whatever he works on. Yes. So let's, take, let's talk about some of his works that will be on exhibition and uh, some of the themes that mm. have been explored throughout this exhibition. You know, he, he is a painter, you know, so it's yes. painting. Um, and okay. he started painting from a very young age, you know, inspired by the sand people, you know, who paint in the caves, yes. you know. So he takes a lot of uh, um, some of the inspiration from there. Then there's some street art. You'll see in the artworks there is some celebration of um, Hugh Masekela, who was his very, very good friend. Mm. Um, and also, you know, he's, he, he's somebody who's an observer of life and a critique of life so there is some works that speak to the man in the green blanket which honors the the man from marigana who, who died so sure. you know like in the case of his books he tells the story of ordinary people who do extra extraordinary things you'll expect to see the same thing from the paintings you know, I'm glad you mentioned, uh, you know, the, the, the man in a green blanket. I know, know that uh, uh, with the Marigana story, it'll spark a series of conversations. Yeah. As I mentioned, there will be, it will be a night of conversations. So what yes. sort of conversations will be held? And uh, what is it that will be discussed in greater detail and in granular detail as well? Um, the conversations are very much going to be about the inspiration behind the paintings mm -hmm. uh, because obviously it's an exhibition so we're selling the artworks so if you're an art an avid art collector please bring your checkbook your 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 uh, um your e-wallet, your, your credit card, and, and come and buy and collect some of the most incredible works. Sure. Um, and he's going to talk about his art process and the things that inspire him. And we're going to share a little bit about where we're taking this uh, next. And we're going to have a performance by Vusima Lasela, who's also another legend. And it's going to be an incredible night. So I hope people go to web tickets and get their tickets for Tuesday. Yes, the yes. 30th, yeah. Indeed. I mean, uh, being in conversation with a whole professor, Zeig Simda, is something that will leave everybody in O. So what yeah. are you hoping will come out of those kinds of conversations? You know, he doesn't like to just speak to people. He wants to have a conversation with yes, people. Yes. So I hope everybody who comes through has some questions, are ready to engage with him. He really wants to engage with his audience. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't live in South Africa, so we have the opportunity to have an audience with him. If you have been a collector of his books for a long time and there's a question you've been burning to ask him, mm -hmm. or if you look at the artworks, which are incredible, and there's some questions you want to ask him, so please bring your best self and, and just be chilled because he's a very chilled 
person, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to everybody engaging with him. And it will be a chilled night. You've also roped in Vus Masasela as well. Yes, absolutely, with music. And, you know, I believe in us giving opportunities and celebrating our grades and not waiting for them to pass on before right. we celebrate them. So right. that Vus Masasela will be there, um, you know, in the, uh, uh, giving us a musical item. So we'll be celebrating his music as well, which is quite uh, incredible. So, yeah, tickets are available. Mm -hmm. um, come through at Keys Art Mile the 30th of August. It's going to be incredible. So what will be the tone and the feel of this exhibition? Um, I think it's really about celebrating ordinary people. Um, like I say, it's inspired by a lot of his books, the books that he's written. So if you've read his books like I have, <laughs> you'll be able to pick up a few things. Um, there's, for example, an, a painting uh, which has been named The Bees of Excelsior. So if yeah. you read the book, The Madonna of Excelsior, you'll be able to understand. So he also takes inspiration from his own writing for the paintings. So if you are a big Zeksmda um, fan and reader, you'll be able to relate to the, art, to the artworks. You know, Professor Mda wears so many hats. He mm -hmm. wears the academic hat. Yeah. He wears the painter hat. He wears the... Uh, the author had. Mm. So do you get a sense that there is a central theme in all of his works, in all the facets mm. of his career? Or there's different themes mm. in each and every you know, facet? The thing about him is that he's a, at the core of him, he's a storyteller, right? right, right and he, right. he uses different mediums to express the, and gotcha. tell the stories. Gotcha. Yeah. He always says, I wake up and I feel like composing a song. I wake up and I feel like painting a, a painting. I wake up and I feel like writing a, a, a play, which huh. he has written so many plays that are in, in market theater and so forth. I wake up and I have a story that I need to tell. Then I write a book. So he is a storyteller and he doesn't want to be boxed into I'm just an author uh -huh. or whatever, uh -huh. you know. He uses life as a canvas. Okay. Mm. So for those who haven't really basked in the glory of his works, yeah. so how would you describe his artworks, especially his paintings? Is it in an abstract sense? Mm. So he uses a mix of, um, you know, um, street, a combination of street art, you know, a combination of cubism, that a lot of people will know as the Picasso, you know, uh, yes, yes, uh, Cubism, yes. which was inspired by West Africans, actually, and mm -hmm. their masks. Mm -hmm. um, and then he also mixes it with 3D, which is, you know, new, where you can see and feel uh, some of the stuff. So he, he's, you know, a well-rounded, but at the core, he's a painter, you know, and then he, he mixes all these different international and local uh, styles okay. to bring us absolutely incredible works. Right, right. So how long is the exhibition running for just give us the details again so the exhibition Uzanem Vula starts on the 30th of, of uh, August we're opening it with the opening night with Vusma Shasela and then it runs until the 25th of September mm -hmm. at Keys Art Mile at my pop-up gallery Nishlax okay Mm. Great stuff. Lovely chatting to you. And uh, we certainly hope that uh, people will be dusting off their checkbooks. <laughs> yeah, please. And please get your tickets at Web Ticket. I can't wait to see you all. I hope you'll be there. I, w I, I would love to, but uh, sometimes I work in the evenings. But this is a must-see. I'll make a plan and be there. If your bosses are listening, you won't be working <laughs> that night. <laughs> and I'm sure they definitely are. Because yeah. there's nothing else they'll be watching on a Sunday morning, you know? morning live. <laughs> All right, Anisha, lovely chatting to you. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much for Thanks time. for the opportunity. Great stuff. Okay. Great cool. stuff. Well, Anisha Manyapelo is the curator and organizer of uh, Uza Nimvula, the Art of Zeke's Mda solo exhibition, opening on the 30th of August at Keys Art Mile in Rosebank. The night will include conversation, music, and art with cultural icon Zeke's Mda, plus music by the great legendary Vusi Matlasela. We certainly hope that people will be bringing their checkbooks. <laughs> I wonder if they still exist. <laughs> but uh, it'll be a night of fun.